Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about a project, Rand Shift, an energy efficient fault tolerant method in secure non-volatile main memory. In this study, we present to reduce a stuckered fault in safe resistive primary memory architecture. It will reduce more energy and area efficient compared to the previous stuckered fault method. In this proposed process, a large number of memory positions with stuckered fault may be used to correctly store the data by using the random features of the encrypted data by using advanced encryption standard AES algorithm as well as rotational shift operations. In energy conceptions, it significantly reduced than that of other recently introduced approaches due to specific hardware implementation of the proposed system. Along with other error corrections technique including the error corrections code ECC and error corrections pointer ECP, this technique can be used here. It is applied in a phase change memory PCM based memory devices and compared to three error tolerant approaches in other to determine the effectiveness of the proposed process. More broadly, we illustrate that the fault coverage of the proposed systems is close to that of the state of fault method. In this step, a RAN barrel shift method can be built using 128 AES encryptions and decryptions in a single architectures with configure the size of the catch and block size memory architectures. This work was designed in Verlo HDL and synthesized in Cyanlinks Vertex FPGA and finally compared all the parameters in terms of area, delay and power. Now we can verify the base paper. So this is a base paper abstract okay and now this is a RAN shift method okay so here they are designed the AES 128 encryptions method okay and this is the algorithm for RAN shift method okay so this is a pseudo code okay so initially they are given a write request and uh, the AES encryptions will be handled okay as per that AES encryptions they will be given uh, to choose uh, the fault positions and uh, without fault positions okay the two method okay so this is the fault positions the right covering will be one and without fault position the right covering will be zero okay here the shift enable will be zero and shift enable will be one okay as per that the architectures will be designed here okay this is a full architecture of RAN shift method okay so here uh, initial data will be given to the AES model okay with the AES key okay and the cache block memory and the memory block data will be given to the multiplexers okay this write and read operations will decide which uh, block will be chosen okay cache block or memory block okay that configurations will be given on here okay and uh, this multiplexer data will be given to this XR gate okay and AES will provide OTP data and that OTP data will be XR and uh, after that the DMUX will collect the data and it will be given to the encrypted or decrypted data okay so this architectures will work as both for encryptions and decryption method okay so once the encryption will be selected the encryption data will be given to the RAN shift model okay in case the decryption data will be selected the decryption data will be given out of the uh, OTP model okay so once the encryption data will came that encryption data will receive this multiplexes okay so this multiplexes uh, will uh, another configurations is a feedback based output okay so this barrel shifter output will come up on feedback to here okay so this multiplexer output will given to the barrel shifter okay and with the shift count and shift enable and checker will check the data uh, this value will be correct or not okay and it will be correct means they will be given a right enable equal to 1 and or right enable equal to 0 okay so in case the right enable will be failed means it will be project the file data to the output okay so and now they have verified the hardware implementations on here okay and the result on discussions okay and uh, now we can verify this Verilog coding. Okay, so this is a test bench of this coding. Okay, here we are designed a AES 128 method. Okay, but a 32 word uh, into four times. Okay, so that's why we are given the four times of 32 uh, data input. Okay, given here. Okay, data in one, data in two, data in three, and data in four with key data. Okay, so this is a top model architecture. Okay.
okay and this is a decryption top model architecture the output of this uh, encryption model the rand out rand enable and rand shift ready will given input of here okay rand shift ready and rand shift enable and rand shift out okay as per that the encrypted uh, data will be uh, come out on here okay and decrypted data will be come out on here okay and this is the top model architecture for rand shift method okay here the input is clock reset encd is enabled to choose the encryptions or decryption method enable is a ready signal for aes algorithm and valid input also aes algorithm okay to validate the data and this is a data input to the aes algorithms and key data is a aes algorithm input and catch memory and block memory so catch and block uh, input uh, will given to the multiplexes as per the architecture this is a write and read data select and write fail write enable is the output and decrypted data will be taken out from the architecture and ran shift output and ran shift enable and ran shift ready uh, will taken out from the ran shift architectures okay uh, to predict the value okay that's why okay so here here uh, will be connected the AES model algorithm okay so this is a AES model and we will be written separate code for that this is a AES encryption method okay so encryptions 128 method okay and this is a decryptions method code okay so it's a long process right so this is a DES RAM 128 and this is a DZ RAM control 128 and the AES uh, S box code okay and they a is a decryptions word count okay and a is encryptions 128 okay so it's a biggest code in the method okay this is a top model a is okay and uh, that uh, a is encryptions main and a is decryptions main will be integrated on, on here okay so once the a is model will be finished it will be generate a otp output okay that otp that otp output uh, uh, will be exerted with uh, uh, the block data okay this block data will come up from the multiplexes okay catch block or memory block data okay so after this XOR data XOR operations okay so the data will be given to the demultiplexer okay this demultiplexer will decide it will be an encrypted data or decrypted data depends upon write or read input okay so finally the encrypted data will given to the multiplexers okay so this multiplexers already told you it will have one feedback input okay that feedback uh, uh, input will be come from the shift output okay and uh, this is a uh, encrypted data output okay so this is a max output this max output will be come up to barrel shifter okay this barrel shifter will shifter and uh, correct the value okay and finally the value will given to the checker part okay and checker part will correct the value and it will be given the enable right uh, enable and right fail okay and uh, this is a simulation output of this uh, ran shift method okay so initially we are we are given 128 bit 32 32 32 32, 32 4 times we are given okay so 32 cross 4 is the architectures and key data we are given okay so this is a format to given a valid okay and the once the data will be given out okay enable signal it's a ready signal we are given here okay this is a ready signal okay so once it will be finished okay so the encrypted uh, process will be completed okay so this is a ran shift encryption method okay so encryptions process will be completed on here okay and uh, is a as model right okay so this is a as decryption and multiplexer 32 okay it's uh, given the data to here and the xr output okay so this encryptions model okay this input we are given to the as model of encryption okay in the AS model encryptions will project the output on here okay so ready and uh, the 4 bit this is the encrypted value okay so 9b 3b 5c 20 okay so in initially we are given the encrypted 80001 and 40002 
okay this value is we are given and the is a encrypted value it will be given okay 9b 3b 5c20 okay so this values uh, will be given to uh, the xr gate right so xr gate this is a multiplexer okay and this is a xr gate okay so here we are given uh, the catch memory data okay here be the 2932f5 uh 69 okay so this cache block memory data will be exerted here and will be taken uh the b20 9a 949 and 4e okay this kind of data it will be came on y okay that data will be given to the otp okay that means uh dmux data okay to the d multiplexes and will be taken the encrypted data b20 uh, 9a 949 okay so that data will be given again to the multiplexer part okay and uh, barrel shifter okay so b 209a uh, 949 okay so that's data okay and uh, the barrel shifter will shift the value it will be uh, present again for 9b 3b 5c 2c it's a uh, given to original encrypted data Okay, here it will be started. Okay, and that original uh, input data uh, will given to the checker part. Okay, so as per the shift count and shift enable, the checker will count the value and it will be present the right fail and right enable. Okay, on here. Okay, here right fail will be zero and right enable will be activated on here. Okay, so as per the right enable, uh, this data will be given to the RAN shift decryption method. Okay, uh, this is a code for that. Okay, because uh, in the test bench we are handled with the two method. Okay, the output of the encryption RAN shift will be given to the input of the uh, RAN shift decryption. Okay, so here the RAN shift uh, decryptions will receive the data. Okay, so this one. Okay, here and given to AES model decryption okay here okay so this AES model decryptions will provide the output on here okay 80001 and 4002 this is the original value uh, as per the input okay so now okay here 8001 and uh, 4002 and here also it will be same Okay, so this is a simulation output. Okay, and uh, this code we are synthesized on here uh, in ISC simulator. Okay, so here we are chose the Xilinx Vertex 5 LX330. Okay, and uh, this is a area report. Okay, slice resistors, flip flops, LUTs, and occupied slices and IO base. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, so you can compare it. Uh, here we can check delay on here. A delay will take uh, 5.134 nanoseconds and this is a power report power will take a uh, 4.316 volt and dynamic power will take 1.022 okay and uh, this is the RTL schematic for this project okay so you can verify the inputs and outputs okay so this first initially this is a data input and key data okay so this both will given to the AES model Okay, this AES model will have a AES in decryptions and AES encryption code. Okay, and it will generate the OTP data. Okay, so that OTP data will given to the XR gate. Okay, 32 bit. Okay, that's why it's a XR 32. So this XR gate output will given to the D multiplexer. Okay, so it will present the encryption data. Okay, and decryption data so decryption data means will be taken directly to the decrypted data output okay and uh, encrypted data means uh, will be given to the multiplexer okay so this multiplexer okay so this multiplexer will also have a feedback uh, input okay so this multi multiplexer output uh, will given to the barrel shifter okay so this barrel shifter will present the output shift count shift uh, out and shift enable okay that details will be given to the checker and checker will provide the right enable and right fail okay and uh, okay 
so as per this project we are written a comparison okay so this is a comparison of this project okay so here we have splitted the comparisons as a AS encryption and AS decryption and RAN shift AS encryption and decryption method okay that means the total work okay and uh, so word count and slice registers LUTs occupied slice registers number of IOBs delays and power okay so this is an analyze chart of this uh, comparison okay and uh, we are written a proposed abstract document for this project this is a title base paper abstract enhancement of this project proposed title proposed abstract existing system disadvantages proposed systems advantages literature survey finally references thank you